What's up weirdos? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Hellfest and this is my last September video before I start my 31 days of Halloween starting on October 1st. Are you ready to enter the depths of hell? Matt? Oh my god, you're here? What? It's Halloween. I got us VIP passes to Hellfest. What is that? too seriously. This really isn't funny, dude. Help me! Help me! Okay, so Hellfest just came out and it was directed by Gregory Plotkin and I'm just gonna say that I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. First of all, they created my literal horror festival dream come true in this movie. I was just sitting there just like, oh, I wish I was there. Oh, I wish I was there. It's just so cool. So I feel like this movie just really accomplished its goal. It's fun and scary and makes you feel like you're in a haunted house or at a haunted amusement park. Like it's got that fun feeling to it. And I think they just sort of killed it. I also thought our main actress, Natalie, played by Amy Forces, did a great job. Like, at first I was a little worried. Like, the first, like, sort of opening, establishing relationship scenes were not great. And I was like, oh, no. But then by the end of this movie, like, I was totally all about her. She was great. And then also Rain Edwards, who played Brooke, her BFF, was also great. I loved her. Something else I really loved was the color palette. I just thought it was so fun. Like, these neon bright colors contrasting with the dark and spooky spooky I thought was really effective. Help me! Please help me! <laughs> you can just do it. Also, I just loved the monsters in the park. Like, all the creatures were so fun. There were these, like, big dolls wearing, like, bags on their heads, and they were sort of, like, leading our characters to hell at one point. And I was like, they need their own movie. They are amazing. They were all, it was great. It was like the perfect blend of like, wow, these are really cool. And like the, and like some of it that felt like very DIY. Um, and some of it felt very high budget. So it was like a really nice mix of those things. And I loved it. The only thing that I didn't really buy in this movie and like, it's just, I think it was just a poor casting choice. So the guy that plays Gavin, who is Natalie's love interest. So in the movie, like all of his lines are just about how awkward he is and like he can't win any of the carnival games because he's bad at sports and he's just so awkward and all stuff. But they cast this like beautiful boy, like clearly probably a football quarterback or whatever to play this role. And so like all the lines coming out of his mouth just felt like not for him. I was like, this is not the right actor for this. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really feel that. Um, but overall, not a lot of bad things to say about this movie. I kind of loved it. All right, let's get to some ratings. So for the scare, I'm giving it a three. And I did jump a few times. Like, they've got this device of the haunted house, uh, which creates some pretty great jump scares, as you would imagine. And I liked it. And then the few gore moments that there were, I thought were really well done. And there was, like, a one moment in particular that I literally was like, oh. Like, I did not like. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't like it. Do you know what I'm saying? Where I was like, oh, but I, like, they did a good job. Anyways. Also, side note, I feel like the more and more movies I review now on this channel, I'm sort of like, I feel like I want to go back and like re-rate them because now that I'm rating them in context of other movies, I'm like, oh, well, if this was a three, this one's definitely a this. And if this one was a two, like, do you know what I'm saying? And so like when I first started, I was just sort of like, this is what I feel like it is. Like, for example, Terrifier, that was more like a four because like Hellfest was a three. I was like, Hellfest, you are a three. And then I was like, oh, if Hellfest was a three, Terrifier was a four. And I'm just like, oh god, do you know what I'm saying? It's so hard. It's so hard to rate things. But that's where I am at right now. Now for the gore, also getting a three. I really appreciate that they went for the R rating in this movie. They didn't do the PG-13. And so the couple of gore moments that we got to experience were pretty stinking fun. I'll talk about them more in the spoilers. But it was just gore enough that like horror fans are going to like it. And uh, just sparse enough that um, people that just want to see a really good Halloween movie will like it too. Now for the cheese, I'm just giving it like a two because some of the like, oh, we're young people talking about stuff felt sort of forced and a little cheesy. Um, and for some reason I always can tell, like when I'm watching like a teen or young woman uh, scene, like three girls in a bedroom talking about stuff, 
I can always tell when it was directed by a dude. I it's and not and not in a like a sexual way, just like I was like, this feels not right. Like it doesn't feel like three girls really actually hanging out. It feels like someone else's idea of three girls hanging out, and it's just like not quite right. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Anyways. Also, another random side note, I really wanted all the stuffed animals that you could like win at this carnival. I thought they were all so cute and cool. I hope you sell those, Help Us, because I will buy them. <coughs> now, let's move on to some spoilers. I'm gonna talk about the best death scene, which is definitely the head smash. Gavin, your head got smashed, and we loved it. They had used like so, the, like the killer guy uses this giant like carnival hammer, like when you're gonna like the strongman game, and it was epic. It was like such a short like flash of his head exploding, but it was so satisfying. I loved it. That was a good head smash. Now for the most relatable scene, which is this a new category? I don't know. I just have to talk about this moment. Is when Natalie's in the bathroom, right? And she has just gotten this like gunk thrown on her. And so she's trying to like wash it out with water, I guess, in the bathroom. And uh, so her hair is wet. And then she goes and uses the hand dryer as a hair dryer. And I was like, yes, girl. And I just thought that was a great woman relatability moment. I loved it. But what I did not love is that right after that, Natalie goes into the bathroom stall and she does not put toilet paper on the toilet. She just sits down bare butt on the toilet and I was like, oh, Natalie, no. And I was like, it's dirty. Uh, so that was one thing I was not on board with. But the hand dryer, very good. Another scene I just want to casually mention, mostly so I could tell a story about myself, um, is so when she's like going through the um scary uh, ride where she's like strapped in and she's like going on this ride hey can you let me out of here <laughs> so one time when i was like 12 13 i don't know i went to this fair and there was like a haunted ride that you could go on and it just you sit in a little car and it goes around and things jump out at you right Simple enough. So apparently it was like broken, but they didn't want to like not have the ride. I guess they didn't want to lose money. And so instead, like the lights didn't really work in there and the stuff wasn't popping out. So instead they had us go through. So me and my friend like go through and it's just like pitch black and just some random dude in there is just running around scaring people. Just being like, ah! Oh my god and so i mean i was young at the time and like i wanted to be scared because i was like this is haunted house like i love this let's be scared and so i'm like curl up in a ball right i've got my knees like can you see me right now i don't know so i got my knees like this and i'm like i'm like going and i'm scared and i'm scared and i'm scared and then the dude just like pops too close to me and my friend and my, i just jumped and so my knee just smacked him right in the jaw oh my god Oh my god. It was hilarious. Like literally his jaw went like I could hear his teeth just went and I was like I'm so sorry but you earned that sir. You earned it. Uh, but that's just my like casual haunted house story that I thought was pretty stinking funny. <laughs> Anyway, so as you probably could tell from this video, I really liked Hellfest. I think you guys should go see it. Go see it with your friends. It's a fun, like, party movie. It's awesome. It's a good way to get into the Halloween spirit. And I'll see you on October 1st to start my 31 days of Halloween. So I'll see you there and send me some good vibes because I'm terrified. It's a lot of videos to do, but I can do it. I can do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, everyone. Don't worry. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Have a nice scream. Bye. You came here to be scared. Right? I can't arrest people for doing their job. Welcome to Hellfest.